What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Giselle and I'm an ultrasound technologist, aka sonographer who lives out here in Las Vegas and I love all things Disney. And today you clicked on this video because you are wondering how to become an ultrasound technologist that specializes in pediatrics and neurosonography. One or the other. Well, you can't really have one without the other because a lot of times pediatric sonographers scan baby brains and neurosonography has to do with the brain. And a lot of times neurosonographers actually work in hospitals that have neuro doctors and have stroke units and neuro units. And so typically a lot of these hospitals that have ICUs will be able to have a place for you to learn neurosonography and a majority of those hospitals are also children's hospitals so children's hospitals also do transcranial dopplers which is the neurosonography part but also pediatric sonography i am a pediatric sonographer who does neuro exams as well so this is just a little video to tell you how to become a pediatric sonographer or a neurosonographer because there is no actual program that you're going to go to to become a pediatric sonographer. There's no actual school that's going to make you learn how to do neurosonography. But there's also no exam from ARDMS that's going to have you specialize as neurosonography. The closest thing you're going to get to becoming a neurosonographer is pediatric sonography, so PS, or vascular technology, so RVT. These two registries, which is ARDMS based, they will help you become pediatric sonographers slash neurosonographers. And neurosonographer just means you know how to scan the brain. So that's doing transcranial dopplers. And pediatric sonography has to do with all the different types of scans when it comes to children and anyone all the way up to the age of 17, because once you're 18, you go over to the adult side. But children's sonography, it's a different specialty. It's a very difficult specialty, but it is something that is more specialized. And in order to do anything specialized, especially in ultrasound, you should have to go to a program that is either accredited or non-accredited. That's a whole nother story. But if you want to become a pediatric sonographer or a neurosonographer, I highly recommend you go the registered diagnostic medical sonographer route where you do the general track or the vascular track. And I highly recommend you finding a track that includes general and vascular together so that you can get the best knowledge, the best learning and the best schools for you to be able to become a pediatric sonographer and neurosonographer. My program included general sonography and vascular sonography, so I got really lucky with that. But in the general track, you do have to learn everything. You have to learn abdomen, you have to learn OBGYN, and you have to be able to understand those things because when you work on pediatric patients, you need to know an extensive amount of things when it comes to the abdomen and to the pelvis to small parts things like that because you need to be able to understand everything in the adult form so that you can specialize in it in the children form or the pediatric form so i would recommend you to find a program using caahep.org near you where you can do a general track and you can also do a vascular track because neurosonography includes vascular and you need to understand how the vasculature of the body is and in order to do pediatric stuff you still need to also know vascular stuff as well because there are pediatric sonographers who scan vascular on little legs and little arms and a lot of our pediatric scans are of the baby brain so baby brains are part of neurosonography as well if you are confused or if you have any questions i do have a bunch of videos on my channel like how to become an ultrasound technologist in five steps i also do have other videos that explain how to choose your program or how to choose your school or what route to take, things like that. I have a whole bunch of different videos on my channel. You can check out the how-to playlist or the ultrasound playlist. But if you want to really specialize in pediatric sonography or neurosonography, 
you should go to ARDMS.org and you should see the requirements you need to take the pediatric sonography board exam and the registered vascular technologist board exam. These two board exams are going to get you the best results and the best things for you to study so that you can find a job in a pediatric hospital, a hospital that has ICUs, a neuro floor. Those are the types of places you need to get a lot of practice in or you need to work in in order for you to be able to understand how to do pediatric scans and neuro scans. As far as my journey goes, I got really lucky to land my clinical site at a children's hospital. So I can confirm that if you go to a children's hospital for rotations, you are going to learn pediatric sonography. And that means you have to find a place that does children's scans because unless you do ultrasounds on kiddos, you're not gonna learn how to do ultrasounds on kiddos. And that's how you learn. You learn on the job or you learn in your clinical site. And I recommend you looking around your city or town or your state, or if there's a state near you that has a children's hospital, try to see if you can shadow, try to see if you can get in there and do a clinical site rotation there and get your hands on experience with scanning kids and scanning neuro patients. These exams are very thorough, they're very specialized, and I think if you were a mom or a dad, you would want a specialized sonographer to scan your kiddo so that you know that they are in good hands and that they understand what they're looking at. Pediatric sonography is one of those board exams that not a lot of people have, yet you can still scan pediatric sonography without having the pediatric sonography registry just as long as you are at a place that scans these types of exams, you are pretty much doing the pediatric ultrasounds. But I highly recommend you get that pediatric sonography board under your belt so that you can tell people or you can go to places where you can ask for higher pay because you have this registry and you are specialized in pediatrics. There is no neurosonography board exam, there used to be, but they pretty much combined it into the pediatric sonography board exam, as well as the vascular board exam because neurosonography has to do with the brain and you basically do transcranial Dopplers. So you know the direction of flow, you see if there's any vasospasms in the brain, and it's just a very specialized exam that takes a lot of practice and skill to do. But neuro, floors are the ones that do these types of exams. So if you're looking to become a neurosonographer, I recommend you looking for a hospital setting job that has neuro ICUs and a neuro doctor or neuro facility. This was a pretty basic video for you to understand what it takes to become a pediatric sonographer or a neurosonographer. So if you have any questions or if you need a more detailed answer, comment down below and let me know. If you want me to share my experience when it came to learning in a children's hospital, let me know that as well. But if you're looking to become a pediatric sonographer or neurosonographer, start with going to a general or vascular program and then learn on the job or learn in clinicals how to scan pediatric sonography as well as neurosonography and then go ahead and take your board exams and then you become a specialized sonographer. Hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and as always, be kind to one another, stay safe, stay positive, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.